subjects. Right, hey there YouTube. Um, I'm gonna show you how simple it has been for me to upgrade my little my little Sima X5C, and this is a great little quad cutter. I would suggest for anybody that wants to get into this sort of thing to get one of these to play around with because they're absolutely fantastic. But um, this little Sima X5C runs on 2.4 gigahertz. Uh, frequency and the antenna that you have in the controller is basically just a piece of wire. It's a piece of wire cut specifically for the length of that frequency but it's just a piece of wire. So there are some upgrades you can do now. The way I've done mine is I've, I had a, an old Netgear router um, there's nothing left inside there now, but I had this old Netgear router. I hadn't used it for years. I've been keeping it, keeping it, telling myself, oh, I might be able to use it for something, I might be able to use it for something. Um, but as I have um, equipment that I use rather than this, this is surplus to me. It's old. It's got to be at least 12 years old. And it's not no use to me anymore. So, but the aerial. Wah, wah, wah. has a little area on it. Now I used to smoke years ago and that's what happened when you smoke. And there was excessive heat as well. From this but or at least that's what happens when you're in a house full of smokers. I don't smoke anymore so that's not a problem anymore. But it gives me this little aerial. It doesn't just give me the little aerial, it also gives me the connections. Um, the part that I need to screw into and it also gave me the wire off that now, on the Simon controller as you can see in front of me you think oh well, it's got a it's got an aerial sticking out the top look how deep that has to go in but bam 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 that's just a dummy that's a fake you know this little piece of wire that I just showed you which is the stock antenna that doesn't even go in this. It's not as loads like that sticking out the top. Oh no, no, that's just inside, just inside here, not doing anything. And that's just there for show. It's there, just for cosmetics. So let's take a little look inside here. Now I've already taken out the screws, or at least as many as I can without getting into a bit of a fight with it. There we go. There we go. Now I must admit, what I did with mine was. Got rid of all these bits and I unsoldered here. I unsoldered there because it was going to make my life easier. And as you can see, I've already put a couple of the screws back in here. Let me just put these two out. Can't seem to get my hands to get where I want it to. Let's just whip these screws out, put them somewhere where I can find them again. Nope. Got no coordination. Okay, um, the front thing should come off anyway. Let's turn that back up again. Should probably take the batteries out. Now, with these disconnected, I'm going to do that. Life is a lot easier. I wouldn't even bother trying to do this unless you either cut these wires and splice them back together again, you know, and just tie them back together again. Or you can you can desolder. Chances are you'll have a soldering iron anyway, because you need to desolder the little wire that comes out of here. I don't need to show you the little wire again. I've lost it. I haven't read it, it's here somewhere. That would be really terrible isn't it, wouldn't it? But that's not really. But never mind. <laughs> um, yeah, and then oh, 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 oh basically I'll show you. I must have, I don't think half these fell out last time. But just while we um, <coughs> wait for the solder station just to heat up. 
Oh, that's it, that's enough. And it doesn't really matter, you know, when you take these off, one, when you place the back here, there's a separation between the two, and that's almost like the separation here. But on top of that, there's a, um, just take that off from that, there's a plus mark where the plus goes. So, not a problem. Not a problem. Alright, now that's off, we can just disconnect that. And turn this round. And so, just on this little board here, which seems to be the, it's a little crystal there, so this is the, for the frequency, the transmitter part, uh, that little piece of wire was just soldered to this. Right to where that little tab is there, that I've soldered my piece of wire to, it was soldered to that. Now I did nothing to this. I took this. Um, I took this uh, piece of wire from the board in the router, as is. Just unsoldered it from its own little tab and just soldered it onto there. And all I've done really is I've I've wrapped it in electrical tape, electrical insulation tape, um, and it's allowed me to fit this in here. And then I've just hot snotted it, hot glued it, whatever, um, in place. Which means if I ever want to, I can just pull it back out again. I've not super glued it or anything. I can pull it back out again, and because I wrap tape around the threads, it'll be easy for me just to unwrap that, rather than trying to have to get off glue and all sorts from it, and reuse it somewhere else. But what a simple uh, little upgrade. And that's just using an old, an old, uh, an old antenna. That was going to have absolutely no use for me for, for anything. But like I said, I've had it for years and years, and kept telling myself, "Oh, I'll use it, I'll use it." There we go. There we go. It's in its position for usage. Absolute brilliant. I don't know. I've not done a range test on it. I, I you know, I don't. Um, I've not actually done a range test on it. It's, not too great weather out there, it's quite blowy at the moment, so this little thing can't be taken out this little thing when it's all blowy. I'll take out the other one, the Hobson. Um but yeah, so simple as you like. Like I say, all you gotta do is just undo those. And if you're worried about the um the power connections, like I say, you don't even need to be looking at it. You just gotta know that you know if you put it flat back there the these wires have got a gap between them, same as what these have, and they, and they just go to wherever. But if you can, there's a plus sign just on the back of this anyway, so it's not a biggie. Yeah, simple. But I'm going to get double the range. One, because the antenna is going to be on the outside, and secondly, because it's a, it's a large antenna for radiation, and if it's used. Because a lot of people put their antennas up, they seem to think the signal might come out the top or something. Boom, boom, but it isn't, it radiates from the sides. In actual fact, this is a not a dead zone, but it's a it's not a good as zone, the radiation zone is what the sides are, so if you've got the drone in front of you, if you radiate from the sides here, you've got a, a lot better um, signal strength to to the actual uh, to the quadcopter. So there you go, that's it. That's all I wanted to show you on this one. I've done the same thing, which is a little bit different for the hubs, and I'll show you that as well. Uh, I'm sorry I didn't make a video of me actually doing this. I didn't think I would be really that interested, but somebody's already asked about the hubs one, so I'm going to do one for that. But seems to be like. And, and this thing as well, this this is, because you get the bottom piece with the screw threads, this all, um, it's got the, the fittings, it, it literally slots in here and it's near enough a good fit, but you do need to wrap a little something around it to get it nice and solid. And then if you have got like a glue gun, it gives you this, uh, you know, the, the glue, that, that's even great, because while it's still soft you just put the back on, just to make sure that it all moulds in nicely. So all this is like quite well moulded in and it works great 
absolute perfect. As you can see now, all this down here is all dummies. None of these buttons do anything on this. They're just dummies. This lights up. This is good. Gives a display of the voltage power that's in your batteries. Um, lets you know. It's it's quite good if you want to learn sensitivity on these sticks. So you actually get to see on the little display here what's being used. Anyway, jibber jibber jibber. That's it. My little Simon update for the um, for the controller. Putting a new transmission rod on. Cheers for watching, guys. Bye.